What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AB Investments. Reporting live to you from the Dutton's Farm out in Yellowstone, Montana. I'm just kidding, guys. I would love to, though. I wish the best farming family uh, AB knows. And I just never, ever want Kevin Costner to ever go away. And I hope that this finale season actually is not the finale season. And hopefully they come out with more. It's absolutely one of my favorite shows ever in fact it was a hidden gem until i hit it uh, i uncovered it and then it was just amazing you know uh the, the crazy thing is we ran through it uh so fast watching all the seasons when i uncovered it um either way it's not what you guys are here for uh however if any of the family are yellowstone fans please put your comments in the comment section i would just love to know what other people in the family are true fans of also another show that I'm also a fan of, uh, and I think that this just will be something that's cool. A little corny, but it's cool. Either way, uh, AB just got back from Chicago. Chicago had its finest days to show us. We were blessed. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Chicago, Chi Town. Uh, we had the best foods, the best festivities and activities. We had the best uh, ride, boat ride, that actually showed in the background the whole uh sears building which is what is known now as the willis center and the entire downtown of chicago fun it was amazing chicago is amazing this time of the year especially downtown the river walk oh my god i had so much food out in harlem and uh on what was it 95th street and um and collins or Hollins, something like that but yeah it was so much that we did Brother had a great time for his birthday. Thank you, Chicago. We'll be back soon, hopefully. Uh, with that being said, it was interesting what happened with the market today, all around. Well, some of the meme stocks had a little breather, uh, especially with the hit, all the hits that they had, the hit pieces from last week. Uh, and obviously, that's nothing new. You guys know manipulation runs deep throughout the entire any 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 concentration of some meme stock or retail interest. Anywhere there's retail interest, there is some sort of siphon and a pump that is pointing upwards that is also getting uh, its job done and the corruption done because they're siphoning wealth to the upside. Now, while it's not new news to us, so many people are getting burnt around. Credit Swiss rumors are circulating even more. I know they've been around for a while, but it's even, even crazier and crazier. You guys got to remember, a wildfire starts with a spark. And whether the spark took off already, whether the spark has already, has already been lit and trees are being burnt down, it's just a matter, matter of time about, about making it to mainstream media. Uh, we'll see that. I told you guys in my last video, within a few weeks, you will find out something really major is gonna go down and we're gonna see if it's gonna be a betrayal or not, but we'll get to that. However, another major important thing that happened is that even the spy today, they manipulated the F out of that uh, play. I almost pulled it out. Um, and then they kept it until literally the last four minutes of trading. They just opened up the dam of all the buy orders in. And then the spy had the mother load of all buy candles coming in to that propped it up over a dollar in less than four minutes. Like it was insane how it worked. In fact, honestly, I can't wait to see what my calls look like for uh, Friday they were already up major uh, after four because you know if you trade the spy you know that it doesn't exactly close its options trading exactly at four it's an extra 20 minutes out there not financial advice if he's not a financial advisor however we also heard from we we if he's back in the Midwest you know what it is <laughs> um, the CEO himself actually said we had our best last weekend ever in the AMC's 100 year history, plus, plus 100 years. And that's crazy news. And in fact, just a week before that, he submitted all the craziness about us being bankrupt and all this stuff. Exciting news. Wait for that to be in the next earnings call on August the 8th when you have him reporting and saying, hey, the best we had and all that, but we need this convergence slash reverse split so that we can make it or see this process through to see this recovery play through expect stuff like that i'm not gonna just jump ahead 
we'll see then what happens. I hope, I hope nothing but the best for all of us. In the same time, keep your eyes on a Thursday because that's when Apple's earnings are out. And Thursday, Apple's earning is like literally majority of the economy. <laughs> Apple down, economy down. Apple up, economy up. Keep that as a major he headline on the uh, week in the back of your head. I'll re come back to you guys with more and more and more stuff. I got to warm myself back into it. I just got back and I'm so exhausted. So if you can't tell, much love. I'll catch you guys tomorrow on either the trading ground or with another episode.